Hey guys, welcome to this video. So this is VeChain with price prediction for 2022. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this is a huge, uh, huge project. I've been following this for years. I've been in crypto since late 2016. And I've been following VeChain throughout the bear market, throughout the bull market. And uh, I think that this is one of the, this is one of the projects that I'm keeping my eyes on. Uh, supply chains are huge. And for example, one of the issues that uh, VeChain is targeting is counterfeit items. For example, I was on a holiday and I bought where it is, where it is. Okay, so where I bought, for example, here. I bought, a, a, I had an old, old, like a wallet. Okay, like very old when, wallet when I was a kid still. And uh, I was like thinking about, okay, I'm very frugal. So I was like, maybe I buy a new wallet. Okay, because I'm on a holiday. So then I bought a, a wallet from Hugo Boss. Okay, and actually, um, this is not a real Hugo Boss wallet. Okay, but like you can see, people are, uh, I bought that wallet. Okay, Hugo Boss wallet. And then the next thing that I was buying was sandals, like slippers. And I was like, I want to buy original Adidas, like slippers. But at that where I, the country where I at, was in, I can't be sure if it's a real or fake. Like even though it's in a high-end store, I this I bought in the streets, this uh, you know wallet. But the uh, sandals, Adidas uh, slippers, I bought in a high-end store. Okay. But I still like can't figure out like if it's a real or fake because, you know, it, uh, that's what's the situation in the in that country. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's for example for for WeChain. I could have if there if there would be a, uh, for example, uh, QR code that I could scan and that it would say that it's a real deal. That's for example one of the things that WeChain is solving, uh, attempts to solve, and that's just one of the things. I think WeChain is a massive massive project. Anyway. So yeah, there's like tons of uh, cool stuff happening. And then they have the public blockchain WeChain Tor. And there's tons of like high quality projects. For example, the Hacken token is built on WeChain Tor. And this Hacken foundation is basically these two code reviews for basically all of the crypto, pro basically all of the crypto projects out there. Okay. So the, the, I mean, it's just a legit one. This is a re legit project. Okay. And that's my point here. Anyway, so now as we get into this uh, price prediction, I just want to say that, yeah. So anyway, so I did a price prediction on WeChain back here in December 29th. Okay, so like a week ago, okay. And my point here was that we hit liquidation candle on December 4th. And uh, usually when we hit the liquidation candle like this, we actually come back test it. So that's why I think that, so the thesis on this uh, price prediction back here was, we are going to go down because we hit the liquidation candle of four, uh, four on December 4th and we hit the liquidation candle. And also um, the markets look very bearish right now. I mean, just people in general look very like uh, panicking. Okay, so yeah, that's why I think that we would hit back this price. So the price is 0 0.007. Okay, and uh, Actually, I drew it like we would go to five cents because usually markets overreact. You know this if you have been a part of cryptocurrencies. When we go up, we go up like crazy, and when we go down, we go down like crazy. Okay, so that's why I think that we would have this like swoop, and then liquidation happens, and then we start going back up because I think that the bull run is not over yet. I think the bull run is going to continue in twenty twenty two, and uh, yeah. I think this, we are still in the bull run. Definitely, this is still in the bull run. So yeah, this is still my thoughts about here. So it has been pretty accurate because we are getting to the price of uh, the liquidation candle here. We are not that far away, okay? Even though it didn't happen quite like this and this time frame, but it's still like, whoop, okay? So we still have gone down this much, okay? So it's still like playing out and this is, and this, uh, this rest of this is if we are going to have a panic selling, I think that this is going to happen too. So the, I think that this is still in the play, but I'm just, what I said here. And uh, yeah, I think it's still very accurate what I've, what I've drawn here because a lot of people back here, when we, for example, started going up here and stuff like that, we, people are just getting bullish and stuff like that. But I don't, I'm bullish in long term, but I still think that we're going back to these prices, you know, the five cent, to test the five cent range at least. You know, so that's my thoughts about VeChain. I will create more update videos, but like I said, I think I'm very bullish on VeChain still. So even I'm, I've been looking for years, guys. I'm not, I'm not scared if we go down a little bit more. And by the way, I don't own any VeChain right now. Uh, I've learned this from Peter Lynch. If you 
don't, you can just watch the markets. You don't have the necessary fund. There's tons of new investors in the market, so they will tell you, you're missing out if you don't buy. You have to buy. Like, you know, they're just screaming this stuff. But what I learned from the biggest investors is that you just want to basically watch the company. Watch how it's run. Like, who runs it? What's the economy about it? Are they honest and everything like that? How are they run? Like, if they have been, for example, have been running it for successfully for five years, and if the price look attractive after that, just buy because it doesn't matter what price you buy. The only thing that matters is that if the, when you buy, does the price go up? You know, that's a lot of people don't. It's too hard for them to understand that. So I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to FOMO into anything, guys. I'm not like we are just getting started with crypto, and if if V chain is definitely going to be the biggest supply chain, um, and whatever they are like, uh, the whole bigger picture is like the accomplish the their vision. I mean, yeah, sure. So I'm still like studying and we looking at VeChain, so I'm not in a hurry to buy it. Anyway, so that's my thoughts about it. Definitely, I have made crazy money in crypto right now. So I turned 500 in 300K and I have a premium membership that I have if you want to check it out. Basically, if you turn out five, if you turn 500 into 300K, if you, all you have to do is 10x that 300K and you have a 3 million. So I mean, this is the, I think the beginning is the hardest part. The rest, rest is just, you know, come like, doing the same thing over and over again. So that's why I'm very confident that I'm going to like make crazy money in this year because I mean, I have the sauce. So I'm sharing, sharing the sauce with you and you can check it out in the description and uh, see inside. There's tons of testimonials. You can check it out, tons of information here. So I'm not going to go through that. So you can find the link in the description. I also have the free market insights. So basically it's a free newsletter where I share about market insights and stuff like that's very valuable. And then there's token metrics. So token metrics is the machine learning software. So you can basically come type in the coin, any coin here, and you can check out price prediction, technical analysis, technical, like all this kind of stuff. Very, very in, insanely helpful. And here it's saying that we are going back to five to six cents. It's the same thing that I basically am saying. Okay, the same exact thing. And yeah, I mean, just, yeah, that's what's up. And you can use this, there's tons, like you can do tons of stuff with token metrics. You can check out the link in the description, check out at least the trial, and you will also get 10% of lifetime. I'm on advanced plan, so check out advanced plan. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next videos, see you in the membership, and peace out, okay?